Hi fellow flowers, Violet here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Dr. Martin's review. For those of you who are new here, my name is Violet. I make videos on how to and style and music and pretty much like badassery, like knives and motorcycles and planes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. I do try to post like once a week, if not twice a week. Um, so if this sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. I have pretty much had these boots since my DIY how to block out your yellow stitching video went up, but I've literally been using these boots ever since these boots literally got me through eight to 12 hour shifts like four or five days a week at a restaurant that was high paced and literally if i show you my fitbit screenshots there are some days i was pushing like thirty thousand steps in these boots now i do have inserts in them um, which i get asked a lot so as far as like comfortability is concerned if you're wearing them as much and as often as I am, definitely invest in some inserts, whether you're wearing Dr. Martens or not. So these are actually from like a different, oh God, I this is the first time I pulled them out since I put them in, but I'm gonna have to get some more. But you can see how much I've worn through, these are just my inserts. These shoes have gotten, gotten some use. But overall, I would say that they are pretty comfortable. Um, as you may know or may not know, depending on when I post the video, um, I am actually pregnant and so I still wear these shoes every day. And the bigger that I get, the more stoked I am on these shoes because they are non-slip, of course, on the bottom, but they're also slip on on top. There are no laces, um, they're not super complicated to put on. Literally, all I have to do is like put my foot in the shoe like that it's great now let me tell you a little bit about the break-in period for the shoes so if you've had 1460s before or if you've heard about dr martin's they are notorious for chewing up your ankles because the boots that they have a lot of the time the leather is so is it's so brand new and it just really needs to be broken in um that it just kind of has this effect to the boot where it like bends into your skin and it hurts like it's like carving out your achilles tendon but these didn't do that you can even see the boot itself was pretty sturdy in the back so if you just have like a good sturdy sock you're fine nothing like the 1460 break-ins at all i immediately went into wearing these every single day <laughs> now let me tell you these boots saw a lot of water. I had non-slips from Walmart in the past, like the Skechers non-slip, um, and they were slippery and weren't really like safe. In the back, there was like a whole dish station and sometimes like dishwasher would mop and other people would walk in and they would slip. And I would be the one to go carry the plates for them to the dish um, because the boots, the non-slip feature on these is killer. It's great. Um, I've never slipped once in these boots that was in that restaurant and then i went to another restaurant as well where i bartended for a little bit um and they had totally different flooring still was like super great super grippy <laughs> i guess could be the word for it now let's talk a little bit about cost so these boots are i think they retail for like 150 i'm gonna double check that really quick because i don't want to be talking on my butt I went to the outlet mall or the outlet store in LA and got these, but they were the same price as they are online, which is $160. Now up front, it sounds like a lot of money for a shoe, especially considering like most of my shoes I get from the thrift store for like eight bucks, but the money has been so worth it. If you are planning on wearing these as often as I do, and you're actually planning on using them for the function that they're designated, you will make your money back. What about like environment? So of course these are non-slip shoes, but do they hold up in other environments as well? And yes, they do. I have used these as my go-to boot for when I'm traveling to the snow for like snowboarding trips. I've also used these for motorcycle trips. So they've seen snow, they've seen gravel, they've seen road, they've seen grass. Um, I would wear these to my sister's uh, stables and I would, you know, ride horses in these boots. 
So you can wear the boots if you're going to be doing stuff like working in a restaurant, but you can also do them if you're just pursuing your hobby. Now let's just talk a little bit about like wear and durability. I have a tendency when I walk, my feet do this weird freaking thing where like I'll be walking and I'll like kick the other foot or like I'll do like this when I'm walking. So my shoes, usually with my shoes, what ends up happening is the rest of the shoe will hold up. But right here on that kicking area, it'll wear down. But you, as you can see on the inside, there is no wear. And I've been wearing these. I wear these so much. I guess you could see like a little bit of a cut right there. But considering how awful my walk is, that's not bad. All right. And then now kind of like the last point that I wanted to go over. Um, usually with Dr. Martens, the sizing can be a little weird. To which point, a lot of people tell you to size up when you buy because of the awful break-in period and whatnot. But with these shoes, I did have the luxury of trying them on in a store. So if you're buying online, maybe be a little more skeptical. But my usual shoe size is about a 7.5. However, these boots that I got are a size, according to US, they're the size 7. Um, or in Europe, 38. UK, 5. Um yeah so i actually had to size down just a tad for these shoes to fit comfortably and i can wear them with a standard cotton sock and they fit just fine i've also worn these with thick snow socks and they've been just they've also been okay but other than that i would say that they are pretty true to sizing um if anything maybe a little large if you were to go with your natural size I remember trying them on in the store and they were definitely big on me in my natural size so i went down all right, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that if you had any questions about the Chelsea non-slip, whether they're worth the money, um, whether they're comfortable, I hope that I answered your question. Let me know in the comments below if you have these boots or if you're planning on getting them. I definitely wanna hear from you guys. Um, I really appreciate you all being here, but have a great rest of your day. Keep blooming and I will see you in the next one.